the one that I'm that I get questions on, especially with my male clients, Kat, you brought up calcium. And usually calcium is one of those supplements that comes up in the conversation of osteopenia, osteoporosis. How does that how does how does that affect males? Because it's not a, it's not a supplement or a component that usually gets brought up with with male exercisers. Yeah, well, it, you know, osteoporosis is more prevalent in women, mainly because mm -hmm. as they age, you know, estrogen decreases, estrogen is required, you know, for bone building to to absorb calcium, etc. So, but you ma males also need more calcium as they age. And if they're not getting it from their diet, then obviously there's there's going to be a gap there and it's going to put them at risk for low bone mass, etc. And I think the last time I looked at it, um, you know, from supplementation for males, I think the recommendation is up to 500 milligrams a day they can supplement because they're getting the rest from from their diet. Um, but yeah, it can be beneficial to, to guys as well. You just just like anything, you don't want to consume excessive amounts of any supplement, any nutrient. 